Looking forward to doing an autumn scene. Yesterday I found down the lane here quite a nice one. So I'm going to take the track down to the river past my bit of wood. I'll get too shaken up on the way down in the pallet scenery down here and you can see how dry it is, how dry it's become. I want to see if I can park up just down here where this lovely bracket going. Going. the sun was a little further round yesterday but hopefully by the time I get set up and get going I can just park up in here. So I figured if I can just come up from the lane into here to this field there was such a lovely spot the composition although the light's going to change it. Thoughts were somewhere from here composition something like this maybe. given this canvas first a coat of black and then I've gone over with ultramarine blue it's darker than it actually looks and it should dry a bit darker as well deliberately doing very loose brush strokes because I want a very loose painting this time of this autumn scene I want to do something with this bracken I've set myself up here with this deep blue black canvas to take in this area here I want to get really in close to these, um, to this bracken and uh, really slab on some paint and colours today. No river scene today, just this lovely autumn golds and yellows. Put out some new paints, we'll take a look in a minute. Uh, I haven't got a light coloured pencil with this, I'm going to have to do the original composition just using light coloured paint. So my usual set of brushes, both filberts and flats. Got my acrylics here, a pair of Wellingtons and a glass jar behind. My palette here ready to go. Nice set of new colours as you can see. It's a load of lovely sweeties aren't they? So let's go. I don't want the camera getting in the way so I'm going to have the camera back a little bit out of it. And zoom in the best I can for you to see. Right let's make a start and I'm going to use a small filbert I think first of all just to map out. And we'll start with a very light cream so I can see it just on the canvas. This side what I'm going to have in. You see we're back into autumn and t-shirt weather again. Oh. That one, that one. Oh, I'll just pop that smack into another colour. It's a good start. Very, very light cerulean here just to get myself going over this black. I've got to really lather it on over the black if I'm going to have this working. Colours happening back there.
running through these trees. This direction. We should change everything round, I think. It's just too awkward at this angle. Right, I've got about three hours to finish this painting, I reckon, so I must be getting on. I've done a complete turn around, as you see, so that I can look better. I can uh, just keep the sun out of my eyes and off my head, too. Right, let's uh, be getting on now. Back to what I can see. Right, now I've had a chance to get back from it. And the first thing I noticed was that the sky is too blue. I need to get a big brush and get in there and do something more with this sky. As it's coming through, shining through them. Through 
warm it gets cool and the light it gets dark here. It's got a bit of so these warm mauve purples in the foreground here. Okay, let's go next. I've decided I want to bring these twigs out just a little bit more. It's very light behind it, so you're probably having a job to see it. I don't think I can do much about that. And that's taken four hours. I started just after 12. And it's now four o'clock and I've got time now to load up the car with work to take to another gallery tonight. Right, signing job. What with? What colour? I wonder. It would be easy to choose that. There we go. And I'll move the canvas around into the dark so you can see it because it's far too bright there. And then we've got to get going because I've got to load the car up. For another display. Well, there we go then, and here's my view. Well, I'd hoped to film it with um, you behind, but it's just impossible because the light is so bright behind that I can't do it. So this will just have to do. quite like it now it's varnished but it's only a water based varnish so I can work on it but I did wonder about a focal point here it tends to draw off needs something there so I'm just wondering about a figure going in here somewhere not about dead centre but maybe somewhere around here let's see if I can find one that will suit maybe Rosie